Right now we have a 90% problem. Out of the 26,000 uh, incidents of sexual abuse, uh, we have only 10% uh, coming forward. So 90% don't come forward. They have stated their reason is this is all in the chain of command. And I could tell you right now, under what I understand to be the Levin alternative, and I hope I'm not right. I mean, I could be wrong, and he could be still working on it, and I talked to him yesterday. Not only will it stay in the chain of command, there will be no independence about it, but the commander will also be the convening authority who will decide where the trial happens, when it happens, and he will pick the jury. So it is most disappointing. I believe it's outrageous. And it doesn't, this is an opportunity lost if that's what happens. But what message do you think it sends if something that is not as aggressive mm -hmm. ends up coming out, especially after the hearing that they had last week? Yes. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Like this is news that I'm going to make here because I think the message that comes out if they keep these serious crimes in the chain of command is more of the same, status quo. And I want to tell you, um, starting in 1993, uh, then Secretary of Defense Robert Cheney said, we've got a major effort underway to try to let everyone know we've got a zero tolerance policy where sexual harassment is involved. That's 1993. 1996, Secretary William Perry, for all these reasons, we have zero tolerance for sexual harassment. Secretary William Cohn, I intend to enforce a strict policy of zero tolerance of hazing sexual uh, harassment. Uh, Secretary Rumsfeld, 2006, he was uh, January uh, 01 to December 06. Sexual assault will not be tolerated in the Department of Defense. Um, Secretary Robert Gates, in, uh, he was 06 to 2011. I have zero tolerance for sexual assault. Secretary Panetta, we have absolutely no tolerance for any form of sexual assault. And Secretary ha Hagel, these crimes have no place in the greatest military honor. So the point is, we've been hearing this over and over and over again. And the incidents are going up. It's a 90% problem, 90% of the women and men who are assaulted. Remember, 50% of the people who are assaulted are men. Don't report it because of this. And here we stand at a moment where we can, in fact, have a breakthrough. My God, we've seen the people who are in charge of these units actually commit sexual assaults themselves. What more do we need? This is the moment.